Welcome to problem number 19 from the uh, January 2015 Algebra Regents exam. Miriam and Jessica are growing bacteria in a lab. Miriam uses the growth function f of t equals n to the power of 2t, while Jessica uses the function g of t equals n to the power of 4t. I know it's a little hard to read. I'll just write it over here. n to the power of 4t. Uh, where n represents the initial number of bacteria, and t is the time in hours. If Miriam starts with 16 bacteria, how many bacteria should Jessica start with to achieve the same growth over time? Now we need to figure out what we're talking about with 16 bacteria. It says Miriam starts with that amount, and we know the initial uh, n represents the initial number of bacteria. So what we're going to do is we're going to place n with 16 for Miriam's equation, which is f of t equals n to the power of 2t. And what we're, like I just said, we're going to replace n with 16. Now what we need to figure out is how many bacteria should Jessica start with, meaning her n value, uh, and to achieve the same growth over time. And that means we want Miriam's bacteria growth to equal Jessica's. And Jessica's is represented with n to the power of 4t. Okay, so we have this equation. We're trying to solve for n here. The trick to doing this is that we need both uh, exponents to be equal to each other. Once they're the same, then we can make uh, compare the bases of these powers. How do we make 2t and 4t equal to each other? Just like this. I'm going to write n squared to the power of 2t. And we're able to do that because uh, there's the ex we have the exponent law, power of a power. Uh, for example, if you had x to the power of 4 squared, you multiply those exponents together. So a similar situation is happening here. Uh, 2 times 2t is 4t. Now again, the reason we did this is so that we have the same exponent here and here. That means these two bases must also be equal to each other. 16 and n squared must be the same. So we'll square root both sides, and we'll get that n should equal 4. That's all for the video. Thanks very much for visiting JD's Regents Preparation.